I got me some renegade. Okay, um, I'm gonna go talk to Garrus now. And um, if he doesn't love me um, immediately, I'm going to be very sad. And that's all that you need to know. Shepard, need me for something? I do. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't here. do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. My feet just go straight through the thing. Well, what about Ilias? I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. <laughs> Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine <laughs> they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area advanced technology and the collectors we're going to lose people no way around that not a happy analysis I know don't worry I won't spread it around and I'm with you regardless uh, do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military not for a minute when it comes down to it Shepard I don't think I'm a very good Turian when a good Turian hears a bad order he follows it he might complain but he knows his place I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Mm, then that what makes How you so Turian hot. crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? Ooh. It's supervised, ooh, ooh. of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very mm. risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. Did you guys make I out? I assume you took her down gently. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. <laughs> Mia ended up holding a tiebreaker in her gore. She had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Oh, y'all know I've been waiting for this dialogue choice for a long time now. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. Mm, not what I meant. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Flexibility. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you. If we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Then yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> All of that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. Like, oh, I don't know if you guys see this. 